Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. So friends, in this class we will be learning the C Programming practically. So topics for this class are first we will understand the basic structure of a C program and how to install a C compiler and we will write our first C program. Okay. First we will understand the basic structure of C program that means how to write a program and, and what is a C program going to consist of. So first comes the comment lines. Comment lines are just comments, they are non-executable lines uh, but they are programmer readable explanations. Okay, They provide the documentation for the program. Uh, they are added with the purpose of making the source code easier for the people to understand. And we normally put the comments between those special uh, symbols. That is, uh, anything in between this forward slash asterisk and asterisk forward slash is regarded as the comment. And uh, these comment lines can be put anywhere. Okay, uh, they can be placed anywhere in the program. I mean, after any statement, but not in the middle of any word or token. And the first section of executable C program is the preprocessor commands or you can call them as preprocessor directives and they normally start with the hash symbol or, or pound symbol they contain the useful library functions uh, for your program and the next statement is uh, main with a pair of empty parentheses this is the start of main function that is a function having some code uh, which is called as main function main function is very important in a C program uh, it is core of a program uh, main function is the entry point of all C programs. This is the only function that all the C programs must have. And we write the code or the instructions within the pair of those curly braces. If our program needs more and more operations, uh, we are going to write our own functions with whatever name we want. And inside the main function, our actual code resides. In the declaration part, uh, we're going to declare the variables, array strings, uh, structures that we are going to use in the program and other executable statements like input and output statements and expressions for our special operations. Expressions uh, may be mathematical, logical or any other expressions. Uh, don't worry, just know the basic structure. Uh, we will we'll definitely learn all these in our later classes and you can have user defined functions after uh, the main functions so user defined functions are normally for uh, other operations other individual operations okay we'll all learn in the later classes so now let us see a simple c program so this is a simple c program it's going to print just a, a message uh, which says welcome to programming in c can you see the uh, line welcome to programming in c inside the printf a function printf is a function which prints uh, text on the screen okay so at the top we have the comment line telling program to print a line that means you are giving information you are giving uh, you are commenting about the program okay what this program is going to do or what particular lines are and uh, you can comment about the code okay and these two statements starting with hash symbols are called preprocessor commands okay normally preprocessor commands start with the symbol hash and uh, the keyword include okay hash include is common statements in all C programs uh, that is to include two header files here these two statements going to link uh, to the two header files that is stdio.h is one file stdio stands for standard input output so that is the file containing the functions uh, containing the C library functions which perform the standard input and output operations for our program and another header file uh, is called as con io that for, uh, that's for console io is also a header file it is uh, stored in the C standard library which contains the instructions uh, for the console operations that are going to work on the console window okay so start of main function so void main of is the starting point of the main function it is the actual this is where the actual execution starts okay so and in this function in the main function we have just two statements 
one is printf statement that is going to print the message on the output screen and another one is get ch uh, with empty pair of parentheses so get ch uh, it's also a function that is going to bring the console window and holds the console window until you uh, type a character to get out of the output screen okay so these are just two statements this is a simple a very simple basic c program that is going to uh, print a single statement on the screen okay so let us try this uh, in the compiler first we'll download the c compiler and then we'll uh, type the program so open your browser and search for turbo c so turbo c if you are using a windows 10 op operating system search for uh, turbo c for windows 10 or windows 7 whatever whatever the operating system you have so hit enter and this is the link okay the first link uh, from the website turboc.codeplex.com just click on this link so this is where you will get the turbo c compiler okay so don't worry this will this software will work on all operating systems windows 7 8 8.1 and windows 10 uh, both 32 and 64 bit operating system so just click on this download link you will get the compiler downloaded so this is just a small file of about 6.7 MB so I'm not going to download it because I have already downloaded one so I'm going to open that okay after your download completes you will get a zip file which contains this folder turbo C++ 3.2 just open this folder and click on this turbo C++ 3.2 windows install a file uh, so just double click on this and just just go on clicking the next button and you will get everything ready for your computer so I'm not going to do that because I already installed one so after your installation complete you will get this icon on your desktop turbo C++ just double click on it start turbo C++ from here so this is how the window looks when you open the editor for the first time so if it is blank if it is not showing the blue screen just go on the file menu and hit uh, the new new command okay you'll get the uh, sc uh, blue screen actual editor window so now we are going to start writing the writing our first program so which is going to print a message on the screen so I'll start with the comment line so I told you comment lines are starts with this symbol forward slash asterisk now start the comment now start commenting on the program so this is a simple program simple C program to print a message right so this is a simple comment as well so I have commented I have put just a single comment now I'll start our actual executable code okay so a program starts with the preprocessor command so hash use the hash symbol hash and the word include hash include open the angle bracket left angle bracket and type the header file standard stdio.h and close the uh, close the bracket now add one more statement hash include con ivo dot h close the bracket so these are the um, fundamental header files that we need for the any simplest program okay so now the void main comes here so whatever we write within these curly brackets or flower brackets is actual uh, executable code that is that is going to produce the output okay so void main is the starting entry point of a program actually we're going to write a function which is going to be called as main function main function means whatever we write inside this block okay inside this uh, inside this curly brackets so this is going to be called as the main function because every program must have this main function okay after this you can have any user defined your own functions like void add of functions like this which is going to add uh, the integers or numbers or any operations like this but we're not doing all that we are just uh, we're just writing a simple program a program consisting of just the main function okay so what is a return type of this main function just understand that what is the return type of the function which is going to return nothing 
okay so this main function is going to return nothing it is not returning any value to the operating system after execution why because operating system is the one who is going to call this function call this a program call our program when we execute it okay so it has to every main function has to return something to the operating system but in this context this program is not going to return anything to the operating system so to indicate that we are using void okay void tells the compiler that this main function is returning nothing it is not going to return anything to the main function okay so now uh, to print a message on the output screen i'll use the printing statement which is normally starts with printf okay so printf is a function which prints the text on the screen just understand the format of printf uh, like it starts with the word printf and open a bracket and open the double quotes close the double quotes and close the bracket and put a semicolon so this is the format of printf function whatever we write inside the double quotes is going to be printed as it is on the output screen okay it is it is treated as a string okay whatever we write inside the double quotes it is going to be printed as it is on the output window okay so let us say <coughs> welcome to c programming okay so this is just a simple statement welcome to c programming and to get the output window i'm using the get ch function okay so this is just simple uh, program which is going to print a message on the screen okay first compile this program compilation means converting this program into the machine code and let us check if there are any errors or not compilation will tell you if there are any errors so click on this compile menu and click on the compile command so here it is saying zero errors and zero warnings that means we have succeeded success so success is the message here so press any key so now run the program so make sure that before running your program you compiled your program and you got zero errors okay so now actually we are running the program so go to run menu and click on this run command or use the control f9 shortcut key so now we have got the message what what we wanted welcome to c programming so that is the message what we have expected so we have successfully run our program but i will add one more statement here clr scr with the empty pair of brackets so this is a function which is going to clear the screen after every execution i'll show you without this function what happens if you execute the same program twice or any number of times so run run can you see still the previous output is visible here we have got two messages welcome to c program welcome to c program uh, the second part the second sentence welcome to c programming is the current output but we have got the earlier output as well here that means our screen has not cleared before the execution to so to to get our screen cleared after every execution we're going to add this function clr scr so that means clear screen clr scr stands for clear screen this is the name clr scr is the function name so how to identify a function with the empty pair of brackets so this is a function so now go and run the program control f9 so can you see the output only the current output nothing else right nothing no c drive no colon nothing right so we have got the uh, desired output if i want one more statement i'm going to add another printf function so remember the format of printf so this is the format of printf whatever you write between the double quotes is going to uh, be printed on the screen okay hope you all are doing well so so let's run control f9 yeah welcome to see programming hope you all are doing well but we have got both the statements present in the single line so i don't want uh, them to be in the single line in the same line so how to get these two statements in two different lines for that we have a special character that is slash n which we normally at the end of a printing statement welcome to c programming slash n so slash n serves as a new line character so let us check out that 
So can you see the difference? Welcome to C programming is in the first line and hope you are doing well. The statement is in second line. That means the slash n brings the next statement in the next line, in the new, next new line. So that is what slash n does. It will add a line break. So it acts as a line break, slash n. If I add one more slash n, I'll get two line breaks. Can you see the difference? Two line breaks are here. So that is how slash n works. Actually, you can use slash n anywhere with, between these double quotes. If I use slash n here, slash n here, and one more slash n here. So let's see what happens. Can you see the difference? Welcome to C is in the first line, programming is in the second line, and the third statement is in the third line. So the slash n, I have put the slash n here, so that means so slash n is breaking, is putting a line break here. So that is why programming uh, got down. So it went down a line. So another slash n here, so it brings the next statement to the next new line. So this is how slash n works. If you want to add the sentence in the same statement, you can do that by using the slash n. So I will delete the sentence. Okay, so I'll add the same sentence here. And slash n, no need a slash n at the end, right? Because we are not having anything after this. So can you see the difference? I merged the both sentences, both uh, statements in a single uh, printf statement having a slash n in the middle. So let's run this control f9. So we, were, we have got the same output, right? Just, just because of this slash n. Right? So you can use slash n anywhere uh, between the double quotes. So that will add, that will serve as a, uh, that, so that will serve as a line break character. So this is a simple message. Uh, today we have learned how to print two statements, how to use this slash and character. So just try out this program and uh, so don't forget to save this file. How to save this file? Just click on the file menu and select the save option or use the F2 command. So this is the path. Can you see? Uh, save file as in this directory. C directory, turbo C folder, bin. Uh, in that bin folder, bin is having the file. So whatever whatever the name we give here is act, uh, is going to be the file name. So I will give as hello, hello.c and don't forget the .c extension at the end of the file name. So hello.c will be my file name uh, which is going to be in the bin folder. Uh, in turn bin is going to be in the turbo c folder which is in c directory. So let us save this, just, just say okay. So can you see the file name? has happened here. So I'll close this window and I'll show you where this file exactly going to be stored. So open your C drive uh, here, open this Turbo C3 directory. Here search for the bin directory, bin folder. Here, so hello.c, where is that file? So here, here it is hello.c uh, which we just did. Just right click on it, open, open with notepad. So see, so this is what we have done in the program, right? Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.